Shalawan. Okay, let me pause this. Okay, Shalawan, Shalawan is the brother Kadash. I'm going to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekha Kadash, double honors to the apostles of a great most on peace, blessings, and honors to all the brothers. And it's true. This is the um the Proud Boys, and they're pretty much just rioting. They're boasting about, you know, them getting ready for the battle pretty much. But, um, you know, I just want to go in on, you know, it's ironic that their name is the Proud Boys, and the Bible clearly tells us, um, gives us descriptions of the proud and stuff and what's going to happen. So I just want to go through that real quick since I've seen this video on here. I want to say a couple things too. You know, um, I give um, double honors to the apostles, you know, because that's where I get my learning from, you know, and the Holy Spirit and how we, how we shy. That's an example of not being proud. You know, you're not just taking this. I'm not just hopping on these videos I'm not just going out there on the highways and byways and just acting like I figured this all out myself. Now, have I read the Bible and came across things that I haven't heard another brother teach or say and just figured it out myself and put two or two together and, and noticed that myself and the Holy Spirit delivered me the truth on that? Yeah, it's been plenty of times I do that because I actually read the Bible, but I'm still giving praise to these men's because I know that, you know, I go to their videos and learn a lot of things. A lot of the breakdowns I learned from them. Sometimes it's breakdowns that I, that I learned on my own. And then I just went to verify to see if I was on the right track and I ended up being on the right track. So, you know, you're taking the proud, the pride away. Now, now a, a lot of brothers see everything is perception, you know? Um, so you kind of, got to go off the spirit. You got to have faith, you know, and the Lord is going to tell you, you know, you pray about things and the Lord is going to tell you if you're going off, you know, or if you're not going off, you could tell by if you're increased, you know, if your knowledge is increased, if your spirit, if your faith is increased, then you kind of know, okay, that's a good measurement to see that. Okay. I'm, I might be on the right track here. Now, another brother look up, like if you got a certain lot, right? Brothers on the outside, they might look at you and think that you're prideful, you know, but everybody got opinions. You got to think, you got to look at it this way. We call ourselves the hopeful elect. We don't know if we're for sure the elect, but we have faith that we're the elect, you know. A brother could have been doing the work for 11 years, 20 years, 30 years, and not be the elect. A brother could have been doing the work for two months, three months, five months, and be the elect or not be the elect. So we're the hopeful elect, right? So within that, you're supposed to still remain, you're supposed to still obtain this fear of the Lord of you don't really know, but you're going to just be humble enough, put the work in and that's it. You know, anything extra, you really just let go because you don't really know because you got to have that fear in the Lord. You might have a certain lot and another brother might be looking at that. He might say that you're prideful because he don't really understand that that's just your lot. That's the spirit that the Lord gave that he put down on you. He might be looking on the outside and say that you're prideful. The only way that a man could really try to condemn you for pride, for being prideful if it's got something to do outside of the truth. You can't really say a brother's prideful when it comes to the truth because you don't know what the Lord gave to him. And if a brother is prideful, it's not a bad thing to have pride in the Lord because it's the same thing as glory. It's putting your glory into the Lord, putting your pride into the Lord. It's the same thing. You're supposed to have pride in the Lord. So I, so a brother might look at you and say that you're prideful, not really understanding that, yeah, you're prideful, but you're prideful in a good way. You're prideful with putting your pride into the Lord, that the Lord gave you certain gifts, blessed you with certain things in your lot in order to be this so that's just a little side thing but back on this problem with stuff a lot of brothers can't understand things you know and and then like if things go over a person's head they'll try to condemn you for something because they can't understand it no it ain't, it ain't that it's this or that it's just you ain't on that level to understand what i'm saying so it's really just going over your head they do it all day with the apostles just like with the with the um with plenty of of, of our doctrines i'm not going to bring them up but they people condemned the uh, our apostles on GMS for many things just because things was going over their head and they didn't understand what they were saying, you know. So it's the same thing. So me, really, I just let one, I just let it go in, out, in one ear and out the other ear, and I just remain faithful, remain faithful in the Lord, try my best to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, and continue doing the work no matter what. Because at the end of the day, you're gonna prevail as long as you just stay down and do the work. And, you know, my personal life, what I've been seeing is the Lord has been increasing my faith. 
increasing me because you could tell like when you want to study when you want to learn when you want to make videos when you want to get out there on the highways and byways that's the lord putting that spirit on you that's letting you know okay you might be you know you're heading down the right direction you know, if it was the opposite way around, then you would sit back and look and then you have to evaluate yourself and say, okay, I must have did something wrong. You see what I'm saying? But it, it ain't been that way for me. So, I mean, I must be on the right path. Now, this is the Proud Boys, you know, and these are Edomites and they got a judgment and they out there doing their thing, but they're just fulfilling prophecy. You know, this is what the Lord told us about pride, though, um, through Paul, you know, um, this is Second Corinthians I don't even know what verse I want to get. I just think I'm going to start with verse 12. It says, for we dare not make ourselves of number or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves, you know, but they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. A lot of brothers do that, too. And you see that in the camps. Like, I'm not going to measure myself with another brother if he's measuring himself trying to you know compare himself just trying to like oh i'm in this status i'm this status i'm that way no it ain't got nothing to do with that brother me measuring myself is just the spirit that the lord put on me if i feel this way it ain't got nothing to do with another brother it ain't if i feel like okay i should be a teacher or whatever or i'm ready to do this ready to do that it really ain't got nothing to do with another brother it's just personal my personal feeling that the lord the spirit that the lord is putting on me but a lot of brothers will look at that and say are oh, you trying to um, you trying to get all the shine or you trying to kind of skip ahead of me, you know, cause they comparing and stuff like that. Me, I never do that, you know, or, or you, you're showing a lack of respect because you think that you're, that you could do this and do that and do this and do that. And, um, and you, and you, and you, it's, it's seeming like you're very prideful and it's, you know, it's just perspective, but, um, verse 13, but we will not boast of things without our measure, but according to the measure of the rule which God has um, distributed to us, a measure to reach even into you. So the Lord going, set your limits. You know, don't let another person that you don't even know if it's, it's going to be the elect or not set a ceiling above you or, you know, um, dictate when you're ready because the holy spirit is going to dictate all that stuff for you you know like you said um which god has distributed to us a measure to reach even into you so the lord is going to give you like okay i want you to do this much okay i want you to do this much you know for we for we stretch not ourselves beyond our measure as though we reach not into you for we are come as far as to you also in preaching the gospel of yahweh shai and that's what it's about Never, you can never condemn a brother if he's preaching the truth, you know. Um, not boasting of things with all our measure because, wait, let me stop that right there. Because even if you say he's going off this way, going off that way, well, that's what we got um grace for, and and you don't know if that brother's trying to work on those things, and he could be working on those things just like you working on things, you know, and he just like you got grace, another brother could have grace, you know, but as long as he's trying and he's keeping the law statutes commandments to the best of his abilities and he's preaching the gospel of yahweh shai i mean it goes without saying i mean you know what to do and it says not boasting of things which without our measure that is um other man's labor but having hope when your faith is increased that we should be enlarged by you according to our rule abundantly you know and you know, I, I I know personally in my life, I've been seeing my faith increase a lot. My understanding um, in my faith in the Lord, you know, the belief it's been increasing a lot. I mean, what else can I say? You know, just be thankful, you know, to water Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. To preach the gospel in the regions beyond you and not to boast in another man's line of things made ready to um our hand, right? It says, but he that glor glorify, let him glory in the Lord. Same thing as pride. Him, him, that, him that is prideful, if he is prideful, let him have pride in the Lord. Same thing glorify me. Him that, but he that glor uh, glorify, let him glory in the Lord. And that's all I've been doing. Glorying in the Lord, you know. The Lord put certain gifts on me, you know, certain understandings, certain things that I was able to get that most men on the earth ain't going to be able to understand. Simple things like, like, um who the israelites are today there's millions of men that ain't gonna get that um who could be saved you know these are simple things there's millions of men that ain't gonna get that all the way to the end you know 
the breakdowns, you know, um, the Lord's name. It's millions of men. We see, we see other camp leaders that's, that now they're prideful, you know, now they've been in this thing for 30 years and they still can't get the name or they refuse to say the name. So for me to get it, yeah, you could say, um, I'm glorified, but I put that glory in the Lord. And that's why every video, anytime I speak about the truth, I give praises to the Lord. You know, I know we say that all the time. So it kind of like you kind of become deaf to it, but you got to slow down and see like, no, nah, this brother giving praises to the Lord, you know, and and that's a that's the thing that millions of men on this earth don't do. So, you know, uh, it says for not he that command himself is approved. But whom the Lord could could um command if so it's who the Lord command if so if I'm doing this work if I got the spirit on me to go out in the highways and byways um to keep the law statutes commandments it's not of me it's because the Lord put that spirit on me you know um if I feel like my lot is this is to do this is to do that to be this to be that it's not of me it's because the Lord put that spirit on me not a man should move his tongue against that you know because it's not of me it's of the Lord that commanded it. So you got to be wise, you know, you got to like, I love this truth because it's not about just who's smart. It's not about who's great or this or that. It's about you really got to get down and study this book and understand and you have to really be humble and you have to remain and keep that fear in the Lord. That's one of the number one things that you have to have that fear in the Lord because that's going to stop you from doing a lot of evil and wicked stuff, you know, but let's get into these proud boys, man. Okay, so they say they proud, right? Let's jump to Malachi chapter 4 and see what's going to happen to them. But I'm going to let this play. Washington, D.C. police say they arrested the leader of right-wing nationalist the Proud Boys on Monday. The group is expected to converge on the U.S. Capitol this week as part of broader pro-Trump protests. Leader Henry Enrique Tarrio was charged with destruction of property during an earlier protest. And a police statement said he was, quote, in possession of two high-capacity firearm magazines at the time of his arrest. Earlier, Tadio said on the social media app Parler that record numbers of members would protest the U.S. presidential election starting on Wednesday, when Congress is due to certify the election results. Last week, President Donald Trump had tweeted, The big protest rally in Washington, D.C. will take place at 11 a.m. on January 6th. Stop the steal. Several rallies are planned, including one outside the Capitol building. One person briefed on the president's plans said he will speak to his supporters near the White House. On Monday, city officials warned Trump supporters not to bring guns to the protests. D.C. forbids open carry of weapons or possession of a handgun without a local license. The D.C. National Guard released a statement saying they've prepared more than 300 troops to support the city government. Watch this sign that he's going to have, right? Ain't a, ain't a black person out there. Look. It's only going to get worse and worse, man. More sedition and more sedition, too. Especially this so-called New Year. Oh, one of them had a sign, but I think I missed it. But he, it said War Boys or something like that. Last week, President yeah, I Donald Trump... I missed it. Here, let me see if I can find it, though. two high-capacity firearm magazines at the time of his arrest. Earlier, Tadio Damn, said on the social right media time. app Parler that record numbers of members would protest War the boys. presidential election starting on Sorry, Wednesday. That's just is what it is, you know, but this is what the scriptures got to say about the proud, right? Malachi chapter 4, just starting at verse 1, says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stumbled. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts. 
that it should lead them neither root nor um nor a branch. You know, that's talking about end times, you know. So Tawada Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakadash for putting that understanding on me to understand that, you know, because it's a lot of men that don't and don't even care to understand, you know. Um but it says, For behold, a day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Yeah, all the prowl, yeah. And all um that do wickedly should be stumbled. So you see these men, they call themselves the proud boys, and they out there and they kicking around flags and they rioting and they you know getting prepared. They calling they coming out with new signs, war boys and stuff. They what's gonna happen to them? They're gonna burn and stumble, all the wicked, you know. And this state the Lord of hosts, right? So that it should lead them neither root nor a branch. You could continue going into that, but I want to jump into Isaiah 13. Uh, it says Start at verse um, six, right? It says, "Haul ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand." So now we're hearing about the day of the Lord again. It should come, and it should come as a destruction from the Almighty, right? Therefore, shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. It don't matter how tough you is, man. Every it says, every man's heart shall melt. All hands gonna be faint, meaning everybody gonna be scared, man. Um, and they should be afraid, right? See, pains and sorrows should take a hold of them. They should be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They should be amazed one at another. Their faces should be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he should destroy the sinners there, um, thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof should not get their light. The sun should be darkened in his going forth, and the moon should um, not cause her to shine. I think this is my part right here I was looking for. It says, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. So the Lord said he's going to cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. So right now they doing anything. It's kind of funny, you know, you got Black Lives Matter. Um. A sign. I don't know if they made that sign just so they could stump on it and, and burn it up or whatever, but you ain't seen not one black, so-called black Israelite out there, you know, but that arrogancy, you know, he's going to cause it to cease. So we're going to see how long they're going to riot until the military come in, until all hell break loose, until that, to those nukes come over here. <laughs> I mean, we're going to see how proud they're going to be, you know, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to say salvation to the elect. Um, shalom.